If you're a rose grower, whether it's beginner, intermediate, or expert, and one of your biggest concerns at the start of the season when you start to get fresh new growth and those buds are starting to form are aphids, sawfly, even black spot on your roses, we've had years when we've had to completely deadhead our roses because those insects have damaged those fresh new buds and they start to come out a little bit deformed when they start to bloom. It's just very discouraging to continue to grow roses for some of you beginners especially. Some of you intermediate and expert rose growers probably been using some products in your garden to make that stuff go away and have some healthy roses. But I have a product for you. If you haven't tried it, definitely suggest you try it. We've been using this for a couple years now and it's done great in the garden. It is Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard. It protects against sunburn, insects, and rodents. The key one being insects, because we always get a lot of aphids, a lot of soft light, damages not just the buds, but the foliage as well. You start to see those markings in the back of those leaves, and then they start to turn brown and die, and the rose just looks very, very terrible throughout the whole season. So what Ivy Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard does, it's actually does a few things. Again, it protects against sunburn, protects against insects, and it protects against rodents. Our main concern is the sunburn and the insects. Now, they sell it like this in a spray form that you can actually buy off their website, or you can buy this paint can here that has the powder and the oils that you can mix into a foliar spray yourself. Now, we're gonna go ahead and mix this in a one gallon sprayer so we can go around and spray all our roses rather than just using the spray bottle. This is gonna come in handy if you have a few roses, and it's not just for roses, it could be for ornamental shrubs as well vegetables, you can spray this down and it'll do the same thing that it's gonna do for our roses here. Now the great thing about Ivory Organics is when you spray it on as a foliar form, not only does it protect against those things, but it produces a kind of a coverage around your foliage as well that's gonna protect that from sunburn, but it's also porous, so it's gonna allow that photosynthesis to happen as well, but it's gonna prevent a lot of those insects. Now it's not gonna stop any insects from crawling on it, but it's gonna prevent them from starting to chew at your leaves and lay eggs and all that other dirty stuff that insects like to do on your plants. All right, so before I get going with this, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my sprayer here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a good amount of water in here so that when we start to add our ingredients, it just doesn't sit at the bottom there. So do maybe about a quarter of the way here. All right, so Ivy Organics is originally a whitewash that's used for trees but you can also make it again, like I said, a foliar spray. And it has directions back here on how to make the foliar spray. This makes five gallons of foliar spray, or it can make up to a 23 ounce spray bottle by adding smaller amounts. And that's gonna be about a third to half a teaspoon of the powder with five to 10 drops of oil. But because we have a gallon here, that's roughly 128 ounces, give or take with the amount of pressure we're gonna have in here. So we're gonna use about three teaspoons of the powder in here. Then it says five to 10 drops per 23 ounce spray bottle. So again, do some math here. That's gonna be about 40 to 50 or so, give or take drops of this oil. All right, so we went ahead and did 45 drops of this oil. Just love the way this oil smells. Can't believe something that smells so good distracts from a lot of insects trying to get on plants and stuff. All right, so after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and fill it all the way up. Actually, only gonna fill it about halfway up. We're gonna shake it vigorously to get this all mixed up in there. All right, so we're just filling it up. We're not gonna go all the way to the top. You wanna leave a little bit of room. Remember, you still gotta pressurize it a little bit. And then when you put this back in here, you don't want it to uh, be a little bit hard to put on there and overspill. All right, we got our screw top back on there and I did exactly what I was just saying, not to overfill it too much because I got a little bit of that foamy stuff here on the outside of it. I'm gonna go ahead and just soak that up, clean it off. All right, so now that we get that done, it's time to go spray our roses, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. One thing you wanna do is when you spray anything on any of your plants, you wanna wait till sundown or early in the morning. You don't wanna do it when pollinators are out and about in the garden. You might overspray them. You might deter them from coming back to that plant. Um, so just wait till later in the evening or early in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and wait till later in the evening. I'll take you guys out there, show you exactly how I apply the product. All right, we're out here a day later. Yesterday, 
the sky started getting dark on me, started to drizzle a little bit, and I didn't want to spray it when it was wet. But I'm out here with Gertrude Jico, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what's going on already because the heat just absolutely came out of nowhere. We were expecting some frost, but the temperatures have been a consistent 60 degrees and above, so everything has leafed out. Gertrude already has some buds going, and with those buds come the aphids. So I've shown you a couple of the aphids. There's a couple on the buds here. I wanna go ahead and get this rose sprayed so we don't get anything else coming. We got a little bit of soft fly. Some of the other roses, this one didn't get too much soft fly, but I'll show you some of the other leaves on some of the other roses. The soft fly is already starting to eat underneath and you can tell when it's soft fly because they eat from underneath and you start to see the lines in the leaf there. So again, this is gonna be a quick video, just spraying it down, showing you guys how I spray it, how I get complete coverage on the roses so they don't get attacked by a lot of these insects. Now, a lot of these insects are gonna happen naturally. To deter that, you can invite some birds also. We have bird feeders all over the place. We constantly fill it with bird food, bird seed, so they can come and they'll start eating some of those little insects that are on the roses as well. So that's a natural way to do it. Now, we wanna use nothing but organic stuff here, and that's why I'm using this spray from Ivy Organics to go ahead and protect our rows organically. We don't wanna use any other insecticides or anything that's gonna deter some of the pollinators, like I said earlier. That's one thing I don't want. I want pollinators to be in our garden, to enjoy the garden, enjoy the flowers, and absolutely be all over this place. So I'm gonna get started by spraying this rose. And all I'm gonna do is, with the sprayer, just spray it completely over the top. And I'm gonna start from the top so it drips down to the bottom. And you'll see it immediately start dripping to the bottom. Now you want to get complete coverage. Here, I'll do this real quick on here so you can see on the camera how much coverage I want. You want it to be soaking wet. Now this will dry up, like I said, and it's translucent and it is porous as well. So it'll still be able to absorb any rainfall, any sunlight that's going to hit these roses. And as I'm spraying, I wanna hit those buds very, very hard where those aphids are hanging out at. Cause that's mainly where they're gonna hang out at, the buds and the new growth. The new growth being the red leaves on there, they're gonna start hanging out on there, start to chew away at some of the stuff there. All right, now that I'm done spraying the top, this is what you want. You want it soaking wet, you want it dripping pretty much all over the place. Like it just rain on these roses. You want full coverage all over. Once I'm done doing that, what I do is I turn it upside down and I start spraying underneath the leaves because you want coverage underneath as well because that's where that saw fly hangs out at. Now, if you have a rose or a bush that's very, very bushy, use one of these long nozzles and just get in there and start spraying underneath all over the place. Again, like I said, you want to get full, complete coverage on these leaves. All right, guys, so that's it. That's a quick and easy video on how we spray and protect our roses here. Now, a lot of these insects are gonna come naturally regardless of what you spray on it, but this is gonna deter the majority of those guys from getting on there and trying to attack your roses. When those buds start to open and the rosettes start to open a little bit and unfurl, the main thing you're gonna have to worry about is thrips. Now, thrips are what causes those rosettes to look bruised and a little bit of that orangey, rusty color on the petals. Those are the thrips. Those are the guys that are gonna get in there and start to bruise that bud as soon as it starts to open. So what I like to do is I like to apply every two to three weeks or if for some reason the rose starts to show a lot of new growth and you can tell what's new growth by the red leaves that are starting to come up, that's what they're mainly going to attack. So I like to spray every two to three weeks to make sure we get full coverage every time we have new growth on roses. Roses love to put on a lot of growth depending on what kind of rose you have. Um, especially the bushes. Uh, we have a Litchfield Angel that constantly pushes out buds and blooms and it's always showing new growth. So we wanna spray that again every two to three weeks to get maximum coverage on our roses. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I, I, like I said, I hope you learned something. I hope you took something from this video, how to use this product. If you have any questions on the product or the care of roses, please leave them in the comments down below and we'll try to answer them the best that we can. If you're not subscribed already, please hit subscribe. We have about 60% of you that are not subscribed watching our videos. Those of you guys that are watching it, awesome. We appreciate that. Um, if you haven't given this video a like, give it a like and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.